it's Justina and today I am filming a new video. Today I am filming a cool toned makeup look. Am I distracting you with my hands? Today I decided to go a little bit more cool toned because I always do warm looks. I always do warm eyes. I always do warm lips. So I was like let me switch it up a little bit. If you guys like this look, keep on watching. Find out how to get it. Okay, first I'm starting off with my foundation. Today I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in the shade 103. And I'm pressing that into my skin. First I like to distribute it all throughout my face. And then I blend it out in circular motions, working downwards so that there's no lines of demarcation on my neck. I'm pushing that into my nose and then I'm going to work it on the forehead. I try not to put too much on my forehead because I don't necessarily need it. But I'm just blending that out and then I also blend down my neck behind my ears just so everything looks seamless and it's all one color. Now I'm just going back in with my beauty blender and rolling that into my skin just so that the foundation is more, it looks more like skin. I'm blending it out just a little bit more. And I feel like this step really helps out. So now I'm just prepping my eyelids. I'm using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. That's going to help your eyeshadow stay on longer. So I'm going in with Free Spirit and Super Mom from the Tarlette palette. And I'm just packing that on my lid. I'm setting my primer as well as using a base shade so that the other shadows can work better and blend better on each other. Now I'm taking Wanderer from the same palette and I'm just working that in my outer crease. I'm trying to keep my eyes open so I can see exactly where I place it. I want to put this transition color a little bit above my normal crease just to give it of a lifted look. So now I'm going in with that darker shade from Kat Von D that's like in the warm. It's the first shade of the palette. I will put the name down in the description because I can't think of it right now. I'm just putting that a little bit below where I put my transition color just to deepen up and define the crease a little bit more. And that's going to give a nice gradient effect. So now I'm going back with my first shade Wanderer and I'm just blending everything out. So it looks so now I'm going back in with the Tartlet palette and I am taking Super mom. No, I'm lying. I am taking power player and I'm working that back and forth and I'm bringing that a little bit more into the crease just to give it that depth and smokiness. Now I'm going back with Wanderer. So I just keep going back and forth, back and forth with that color just to blend everything out because I want a nice blended look and not have any jagged lines or anything like that. Now I'm going in with a more defined brush and I'm just taking a little bit of a dark gray and a black eyeshadow and I'm just deepening up that outer crease. That's going to give it a nice smoky effect. So now I'm just taking translucent powder on a clean brush. And I'm just blending and setting everything into place. Picked up this trick from Kim K's makeup artist and I, I like the way it looks. It ties it together. So now I'm going in with ColourPop Tink Eyeshadow and it's a little bit more of a cool blue. I'm just going in with a blending brush with no product and blending all that out. And then now I'm back with Wanderer and blending everything else, else out again. I'm just packing on that nice white eyeshadow from the Kat Von D palette. I mix the white and the gray from her palette and I pack that all over my lid and now I'm just blending out the outer corners just so I didn't lose any of that color in my crease. Now I'm lining my eyelids with the Marc Jacobs black eye pencil. I don't know the exact name for it. This is so hard to do on camera so I had to do it off camera. Then I went in with a smudge brush. It has like a little foam tip at the end and I'm just blending it out. So now I'm prepping my lashes for my falsies and I'm just taking Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm running that through both of my lashes. So what I do with my mascara is I push my lashes up and then I roll it from the root to the tip of my lashes. And then I went ahead and put on my Coco Goddess lashes off camera because I was struggling. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Concealer and I'm just highlighting under my eyes as well as concealing. This is a little bit of a salmon color in it, so it really color corrects any dark circles you might have under your eyes, like I have, because I haven't been sleeping very well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on the tops of my cheeks, under my eyes, around my nose, the tip of my nose, the center of my forehead, and a little bit on the bridge of my nose, as well as my cupid bow in my chin area. I was getting very technical here, because I had a lot of time on my hands. So I'm kind of being extra, but you don't necessarily have to do all this. So I'm just blending that out with my beauty blender. I'm pushing all of that product towards the bridge of my nose so that my nose looks more slimmer. I don't necessarily have to contour my nose too much. So I'm basically just pushing all of that product into my skin under my eyes. And then I'm just cleaning up that eyeshadow or any fallout I had on the outer corner just so it looks more clean and personalized. When it comes to highlighting under your eyes, you can go a shade or two lighter. I go two shades lighter because I really like that highlighted look 
and the more far out you go above your cheekbones the more higher your cheekbones are gonna look so so now I'm just blending out my nose area the center of my forehead I brought a little bit under the hollows of my cheeks just to give it a little bit more of a defined look so now I'm taking my favorite Laura Mercier translucent powder this is their setting powder and I'm just pressing that into my skin I went pretty heavy duty I've never baked my skin like this ever in the life trying something different on camera I hope you guys enjoy so I like to take a damp beauty blender and dip it into that powder and I'm just pressing that onto my skin and I go really close to the bridge of my nose so it looks slimmer and then I'm gonna go on the tip and then I'm just bringing that on the tops of my cheekbones basically wherever I put that concealer I am setting and that's gonna keep the concealer in place also it's gonna absorb all that excess oil and keep me matte for the day this powder has helped me so much with my oily skin it's set my makeup my makeup stays on longer I feel like if you have oily skin or combination oily everybody should go pick that up so I put some under the hollows of my cheeks so that it looks more defined so now I'm just taking all those shadows that I used on the outer corner of my eyes and I just set that under my lash line my lower lash line and now I'm dusting off all the setting powder with my Sephora brush and then you can see how it set my makeup and how my face looks more defined, more highlighted, and it brings out those features. And now I'm just going back under my lower lash line and I'm just putting a little bit more of a gray eyeshadow because I felt like it was looking a little bit too blue. I put that ColourPop shadow and it was just too blue for me so I'm now I'm lining my waterline with the Marc Jacobs pencil and I hated the way this felt on my eyes it bothered me so much and it bothered my contacts so I wouldn't recommend it if you have sensitive eyes or contacts so I'm just coating my lower lash line with the super sizer from covergirl and I'm going in with my hula bronzer and I'm pressing that into the hollows of my cheeks and just blending upwards Blending upwards is going to make your cheeks look more lifted and then you're going to go around your forehead. If you have a small forehead, you can skip this step, but I got a kind of a big five head. So I'm just trying to conceal that and I'm going around my jawline to make it look a little bit more defined and bringing it down my neck so everything looks blended and together in unison. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side of my face. I'm just going to take my Hula bronzer and blend upwards. This is my favorite bronzer of life it's the best so now I'm taking the sculpt powder from MAC and it's a cool tone contour shade and I'm just bringing that under the bronzer and just dusting that along my forehead just to give it a little bit more defined kind of contour a little bit more cool tone now I'm just contouring my nose with my hula bronzer this has been giving me so much trouble these past few days because once comes like fall and winter time, my nose gets very dry and then I get dry patches so it starts to lift my makeup but went in, blended it out with my beauty blender and everything's fine. So I'm taking my Laura Geller highlight in Gilded Honey which is my fave and I'm just dusting that on the tops of my cheek, around my eye area, my nose and my cupid's bow, basically any high points. I'm going to go ahead and dust Blush Baby from MAC and I'm going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm just taking a tool, tool, duo fiber brush and I'm just going to gently pack on that pigment. I don't like putting on too much blush because I feel like a clown. So I just want some color and I'm taking that second highlight powder and I'm just going to dust down the high points just to layer my highlight, give me a little bit more of a glow and I've been liking this technique, putting the highlight first, then the blush and then more highlight because it makes my cheeks look more glowy. And it blends the blush and highlight much better. And I'm just going back on my nose, my chin. And now I'm highlighting my inner corners of my eyes. And I'm using the same highlight shade that I used for the top of my cheeks. So what this step is going to do, it's going to brighten your eyes, make it look more awake and really open them up. So now I'm just bathing in Fix Plus, basically. And my face is soaked. <laughs> now I'm putting a little bit more shadow because I guess I wasn't satisfied enough with the amount of shadow I had under my eyes and I'm just smoking it out a little bit more putting a little bit more gray under my eyes I guess I felt like it wasn't cool enough then my camera stopped rolling for this me putting on my lipstick so I just basically put sepia on the outer corners of my lips and then I put pure Hollywood in the center and this is the finished look thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave below any suggestions you guys might have for other videos 
Also, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe to my channel. I'll appreciate it so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!